The church announced the formation of Deseret Industries in 1938, when Utah and the nation were recovering from a deep depression. Banks had failed. Thousands had lost employment. Deseret Industries was a part of the general welfare plan of the church to help lift people to employment so that they might then lift themselves to the capacity to care for themselves and their families. God requires his children, which we all are, to care for the poor among them. The way it is to be done is clear. Those who have accumulated more are to humble themselves, to help those in need. Those with abundance are to voluntarily, voluntarily sacrifice some of their comfort, time, skills, and resources to relieve the suffering of those in need. And the help is to be given in a way that increases the power of the recipients to care for themselves and their families. Done in this, the Lord's way, something remarkable can happen. Both the giver and the receiver are blessed. Through acts of selfless consecration, those who are richer become humbled and refined in spirit. They have given not out of compulsion, but as acts of charity the pure love of Christ. The recipients feel that love and gratitude and thus are motivated to work to become more self-reliant and so gain the capacity to help others as they have been helped. In the Deseret Industries located here, loving, skilled people will help individuals referred by their bishops to develop work capacities. They come with a wide variety of needs, from improved language skills to gaining the confidence necessary to compete for jobs in the private sector. But those who come and their bishops can depend on is unfailing effort to help people lift themselves to their full potential. The same deep dedication to helping people help themselves permeates the LDS social services that are located here. From the moment a client walks into the office, he or she will feel love, concern, and hope for a better life. And that help will be extended through the days that follow, always with the assurance that comes from faith in God's healing power, in our inherent capacity to make choices, and in our personal accountability. You have, who have been blessed could reach out your hand here to those who need help to rise up. They, their families, descendants, and all those who love them will call your name blessed. And so will the Lord, who said what we all hope to hear in the world to come as he takes us by the hand. You know the words. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was in hunger, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye, ye took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and you came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee in hungered, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger, and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick, or in prison, and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. This is a good day, a wonderful day. And it is a day with the promise of miracles in the lives of Heavenly Father's children.
to come in the months and the years ahead. May every day have such a promise for you and yours is my hope and my prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. amen.